Hi guys. Hey, yeah, what happened? I just changed positions. I have, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known I have a great desk now. So I have just put that up so I can get more light. I am sitting right next to the, my window and I have a window over there. So I have great light on both sides, except when, when I sit on, yeah, my, my computer desk, you have all the darkness from this side and we don't like that. So plen plenty of light, now we can see. So anyway, this is another Monster High look, of course, and this is Headmistress Bloodgood, the daughter of the Headless Horseman. So yeah, I think she's quite brave for wearing such a bold eye look. So yeah, but anyway, if you want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. All right, guys, as usual, prime. I'm going to prime on this, and, and today I'm using my NYX HD eyeshadow base. So just going to pop this on. And then I'm going to blend that out. There we are. For eyeshadows, I'm using my BH88 color matte eyeshadow palette. And now I can just show you which eyeshadows I use for my brows. Right here. First, I use this dark brown just as a base, and then I took the black just a very little, so I have these very dark brows. Now, anyway, uh, I am starting with, let me see, it was this color, this purple color. That I'm applying to my entire lip. I've been playing around with this for a little while, so I have a good idea how the eyeshadows are, and they are quite pigmented, as you can see. Just have a lot of patience after all, Headmistress Bloodgood. She is an adult, and I want her to look quite, yeah, what can you say? Very high fashioned. There we are, and then I'm go just going to take my BH cosmetic blending brush and start blending. From here on, it's just a lot of blending going through. Because we want that color to be a little above the crease, just a little bit. Plus we want a little swoop. Just adding and blending, adding and blending. That's the key also to a great smoky eye. Adding and blending, adding and blending all the time. It's taking shape now, you can see that. Yeah, I'm taking an angled eyeshadow brush and then I'm taking the purple here and below because I want a little bit of darkness in the crease as well. That's how it doesn't look, yeah, one of the same colors. So I'm just taking the blending brush again and blending, blending, blending. Want a bit of depth to the eye, not just just a plain color. Now 
I'm a little chicken back and forth with my eye, with the right eye. So see if I I'm hitting the right color. Yeah. And I'm taking a small eye, eyeliner brush. And then I'm taking this sort of yeah pinkish purple pop color. And applying that on my lower lash line. And I'm just taking my blending brush and blending that out. Ah. I'm just taking a big flat brush and the same pinkish purple color. And that's for one of the highlight colors. And then the other highlight color would be just be this light color, just for the inner corner to brighten up. For eyeliner, I'm taking my Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner by Maybelline. It's really eyeliner that stands through in Headmistress Blood Goods look, and then. I am, um, yeah, I'm winging this out of it, and then I'm taking my uh, waterproof eyeliner by Gosh called Black Ink, lining my upper waterline and lower waterline, and then I'm curling my lashes and using Maybelline the Fault Seas waterproof mascara. So I'll be right back. And now onto the rest of these, I'm taking my Dream Sun Triple Bronzing Powder in the color Blonde by Maybelline, and then my Real Techniques buff, uh, no, not buffing, contour brush. And of course, I'm just mixing these three colors. And I'm just contouring into my cheekbone. A temple going up to the forehead and to the hairline. And Mr. Spotlock has quite enhanced cheekbones, so it can be quite generous right here in the hollow. Remember the jawbone down the neck so that it looks seamless. Then I am changing into my detail brush. My real techniques also. And then I am contouring my nose. Just from my brow. Going down and I'm also coming around tip of the nose. This is a good trick if you want to have your, look, your nose look slimmer. And I'm just blending out with my finger. Add and blend, add and blend. And then we'll sort of draw just under the, under the mouth. Blush, I'm taking this rose colored blush by Marquins International and my Real Techniques mold, Multitask brush. Dip that in. And on to the cheek with that. And for my lips, I'm taking this lip lacquer by Gosh, and it's called Crispy Lips. So, that's such a dome foot applicator, as you can see here. So, on with that. And now we're finished. Hit Mistress Blood Good. Now we came to her. So, yeah. And I mean, yeah, it's actually quite good for a headmistress wearing such 
hold my makeup. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, so remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and then I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys.